Hey Plenty friends, welcome back to another new Plenty video. Today, we're going to be doing some late night plant chores. I literally just finished filming a video, which is why I'm still wearing the same shirt. He has water, like the unlimited water, like his bowl is not empty, I know that for sure. He's leaking, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's leaking the planter. Why are you doing that? That is so weird. I already did the holes off camera. And right now I wanna go ahead, I'm not sure exactly what kind of pleasures I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna be walking around and whatever I see that needs something to get done, we're gonna go ahead and do it. This has been kind of past due. These are some Anjula cuttings that we have been had propagating in sphagnum moss, which have actually developed some good roots. The thing is, I it looks so bad. I dried them out by accident. Well, no, I did it on purpose. I <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I guess I have some hot Cheetos. I ate some of my boyfriend's hot Cheetos and it went to the wrong tube. But you can see the melee bug. So I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna rinse all these cuttings in the water and running water. And then I'm gonna place these in some nice moist soil. The weather looks really, really good these next days. I do have an extra shelf that I can put outside to like let these cuttings root because it's getting kind of nice. I think we have two more days that is on the forecast separate. Like in the seven day, eight day, 10 day forecast, whatever shows on the Apple weather app, the lowest we're ever going to get is like 46, like something like that, which is really, really good. Um, actually, tropical plants do like nights that are cold, not that cold, but they do like warm temperatures, like cold temperatures at night. And then in the day, they like warm temperatures, um, humid environment, very tropical, right? So I would like to place these outside and I have noticed when I replace plants that have any pest and I put them outside, mother nature takes care of it majority of the time. And yeah, so I'm not really, really stressing out too much, but I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this and then I'm gonna spray this entire thing with some rubbing alcohol, let it sit and disinfect and then clean the entire container again so I can put some new cuttings in here. I'm not quite sure what I wanna go ahead and propagate, but I'll find something. But yeah, it's kind of sad that they're really dried out. That's not a melee. It's actually a node developing, like a new leaf coming through. So these have potential. I don't want to just throw them away. Um, it's just the melee was kind of turn me off a little bit, but we're still going to push through. We're going to see those weathers that I can put any cuttings outside in the shade. My balcony is going to become full shade in a bit, in a couple days or a couple months, like in a month or two. And propagating plants is like super duper easy. So, and it's bright and direct light. So these would work out. So let me go ahead and rinse these out and then I'll fill this with soil. We can start putting them in here. And I guess we can chat. Um, I'll find something to talk about, but I <laughs> hope you guys are gonna join me on doing some plant chores together. It is late at night and I don't really always do this, but I have so many grow lights. This is from a grow light. That I don't think the, the, light, is, the light quality is bad. So thumbs up for that. <laughs> What's wrong? Yeah, and what happened? So this time I did something different. I ended up closing it so I can capture the this sphagnum moss, this debris, and I can just dump it out so it will not clog the tubes of the waste room. Because last time I had to use a plunger and it was really annoying. But yeah, I'm just gonna grab this off camera and then I can just go ahead and flush it out. Because yeah.
I don't know why that thing makes that buzzing sound. <laughs> it happens whenever it's really, really humid. Also, I was trying to experiment. I would like a cup of coffee, but I was like, maybe I would. I can make shots. It's less like coffee grounds that I gotta use. It's more concentrated. This has four in it, and I felt something when it. I do feel something, but I'm just not used to it. Like, then the almond. I should have never added the almond milk. I should have just added sugar and just espresso shots. I think that's pretty good enough for me, but. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> but as long as I get the, as long as I get the caffeine that I need or want, we good. <laughs> yeah, this is for espresso shots. Now I don't know because I use uh, Folgers coffee grounds. I'm so curious if that I can use it as coffee shots. I'm not quite sure. I don't know if I need to use specific coffee grounds to get that. I have dark roast. Like, is that what's oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get that like the birds. It's so pretty. No, it is like rush hour. I see like, um, electrician thinks so. The bottom of the tower, I'm wondering like something actually is bad or... No, I don't no, so I got it because I said that I didn't understand and then it just stopped. Yes, that's what I said, Swagra. What's that? I see why Nintendo wants to come outside. Like, I'll show you. <laughs> Want to come outside, sugar? Yeah? Ben, Papa. Ben? Ben? It's like, okay, okay, don't rush me. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that, but that it makes a buzzing sound, and then there's jets over there, like some planes going on. Uh, that's rapping, but it should have calmed down pretty soon. Don't be eating my lettuce. You trying to kill my lettuce? Yeah. Trying to kill my lettuce? Yeah. Oh, here's a plant, the almost that aurora. And as y'all see, it's really, really humid and it's pretty warm, so I think a lot of cuttings are like now okay to be placed here because. It's so humid. It is pretty cold, but it's just the morning, so... 1.38. It's because it gets placed on direct sunlight, that's why. That's crazy. I mean, that's how it would feel. That's how the... the um, right? The temperature of the plants, when they're getting full-on light, that's what they feel. I just realized that's a bit too close together. <laughs> My lettuce is too close together. Hi. Can you stay, please? Can you see the fungus in that? <laughs> Hi. I said I'm gonna get some of that right now. Stop. Stop. <laughs> just chill, okay? You need to like calm down. I had to reset it because whenever you tap the screen, it like auto locks to exposure or the thingy and it gets me mad. So we're in the plenty room now. I'm gonna open the blinds and let me close the door so I'm not too loud because boyfriend is still sleeping even though it's nine o'clock. Girl, I slept at nine. I slept at one. I am sleep deprived. <laughs> Honestly, um, Y'all know how like like a lot of y'all. Y'all know how like I'm a little bit of a an overthinker, and I'm also like a, a kind of a perfectionist. Even though I'm not perfect whatsoever, like that's so dumb about me. I want everything to be perfect, so I act like a perfectionist, but nothing comes out perfect. Like, <laughs> I 
and um <laughs> it's getting me tired so i've been really really putting a lot of effort oh stop i've, I've been <laughs> i've been putting a lot of effort on the website i removed the rewards because i, I talked to entire, my entire family and i thought it was really cool um because i like getting points from mcdonald's and wendy's but then i realized i'm not fast food <laughs> so <laughs> i was like gay not right now so i took the thing down and then as i was setting up the thing i realized shipping and i realized the cost of taxes oh my god so i can't sell it as cheap as i wanted it to be it's an 89 so the shirts will be sold 24.89 and that's where i'm setting it up I should not even be saying a number, but the goal is to open on Friday or Saturday of this week or wherever in the new, new in the new week, girl. And yeah, I have everything. I need to like check the printer because I have a printer. She's like right over here. I'm not quite sure if she's good. I'm gonna give you guys a better background. I miss my plenty one. This is all I have left. I think all of the plants are in the living room. So that's what it's kind of like. But to be fair, a lot of the plants were kind of sick. So this is like my elite. You're one of my elite employees. If you know what that is from TikTok. It's from TikTok. I don't know if y'all watch TikTok. I like to say a lot of TikTok jokes. Oh my God, that's a prick. That's an name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's because when I get like two feet from the window, you can kind of see me. And I'm, like, I'm on the third floor. I'm literally facing the street. I can kind of imagine like what people are seeing like oh my god so i don't know i'm just <laughs> anyways but the lighting is so good and this is the only plenty background that i have right now <laughs> i showed you a lot a lot about the lit group too loud about the, the living room but yeah so i've been just really really trying to like perfect the plenty store i have everything that i need because i don't see this as a big thing i'm not trying to get rich out of this the thing is if i'm gonna sell something even if it's just to one person i'm gonna give it my all especially to y'all y'all are like so y'all support me so much like it's insane and i i would not be able to sleep at night hello if it's not perfect as close as i can get it to everything and also legal wise i'm not trying to get sued i don't think no one would sue me i think it has to be ready really low to sue a poor person <clears throat> girl i'm struggling like how are you gonna sue me like <laughs> but when you sell things online if you're not doing it right you can get i think you can sue anybody to be honest you can find the loophole with anything like a loose string so but yeah so i'm doing everything i can to do everything legally correctly which is why i have to raise the price a little bit um, I think it's still good, honestly, because um, your one and only is going to make it. I'm going to put so much love into it, and you don't got to buy it. <laughs> Just simply watching my videos is literally in uh, uh, enough. It's like, watching my videos, y'all, means a lot to me, because, like, <sighs> why do you watch me? <laughs> like, I think, like, I'm going to listen talk about it. So... Thank you so much for supporting me on everything. Today, it's a new day. As like I said, I did not sleep good. This is why I stumble on my words a lot and I mumble a lot and I cannot put sentences together. And when I try to say like, I can't even think of a word. Like, you know, I, I can never pronounce it the correct way. I think a lot of it has to do because of stress. My brain is fried and I'm forcing it to just keep pushing through. And I'm not sleeping like I'm supposed to sleep. So <laughs> that's why I talk the way I talk like, oh, so I'm sorry. It's just like, <sighs> so it is what it is though. I love what to do. That's the thing about like, you know, working by yourself. Um, just even creating plenty content. I really, really do love it. I love it a lot. Sometimes I don't have the mental energy to keep pushing through, but y'all are the reason why I push through. Um, like especially like i don't like going big box store shopping like honestly like, the streets have been getting crazier <laughs> ah. so um i don't like going <laughs> but i go because of you um i'm like well y'all are a big reason why but i also like to go for myself too like hello so <clears throat> yeah because i'm saying as in like i don't like going to like other locations y'all know my locations like yeah <laughs> I have two that I go to all the time. I think the employees know me. The whole, one of the Home Depot girls was like, 
He comes here a lot. I was like, I don't even come here that much as I do to that low. I can imagine what that lows has to say about me. Like, do y'all understand that? Like, yesterday's video, I think it was a, yeah, it was a print shopping video. I've gone print shopping for that lows, like, I think, like, four years already. And my channel. I'm like part of one of the elite employees. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, and this one I've been going, I think, for two years already. Maybe three. I think two. Two or three years. I can't imagine what they gotta say about me. So, I'm trying to branch out so, like, I don't get, like, that. And then also, I need to see other new plants because y'all want to see rare plants, uncommon plants. I mean, that's what the August, that's not what the August, what the people want, honestly. I'm just gonna branch out. So that's what I'm doing. And y'all are liking it. <laughs> but I'm scared. Anyways, so today we might go plant shopping and I might add it to this video. Cause I like adding, I like doing this now. It's like, it's, this is literally, since I post daily, I think my channel is like, just like a vlog. That's literally what I just document. Um, how people like to call it and how I, I understand how much of a mess I am, me being chaotic and plant shopping and plants that's my channel so <laughs> it's gonna be like basically vlogs y'all like that's i mean that's how it's been but i'm gonna like more like put exclamation marks at the end now so we're gonna be doing like plant shopping and then we come back and do plenty chores with a buy new plants i know you're not supposed to but i'm gonna do it just because like because i can so <laughs> we can like repot the plant once i buy it we can find a really, really cute planter or we can get a plant. No, right. We'll figure it out. But that's that's what that's the goal for today. I'm talking to you because like I have my coffee and I can't talk to my boyfriend right now because he, he just he's still asleep. My cousin left to work and I have nobody else. And I think Valentino's getting tired of me talking to him now. He's starting to bite me if I talk too long. So um, now it's you and me. So thank you for listening to me. <laughs> So I'm gonna show you guys some plenty updates. I guess I'm gonna bring the plants to you because the lighting is really good. Can y'all see? I think it's pixelated and it's making my skin look good. <laughs> and then again, <laughs> stop. Okay. Mm -mm. That coconut milk tastes like soap. Or it could just be the cup that's not washed correctly. So what plant do I want? I guess I can show you this one. Y'all, this lemon lime, lemon lime. It's because I have it on the shirt, and like I said, I was doing a lot of typing for the website, and I was in the morning talking about the lemon ice. Let me show you. <laughs> My silver bad Barenta. <laughs> like, <laughs> ah! Oops, sorry, baby. He he's a deep sleeper. Like I can scream because someone's stabbing me, but he would not wake up. Like <laughs> like girl, like he won't. So he's he's fine. Look. Oh my god, I hate this. I feel like people are thinking like I'm talking to them. I don't give a damn. I'm gonna pay my bills. So like, look at this. Like, do y'all see that? She is blooming. People already think I'm crazy anyways with the balcony. Like, I think them thinking me talking to the window like by myself like a crazy person. That's like, like, like a no shock for them. Like, they're probably like, oh, that's expected from him. <laughs> anyways, look at the silver bamaranta. My apartment is extremely humid. So much so that I struggle to kind of sleep. I have a dehumidifier, but I ended up placing it to the most humid place, the bathroom. I'm not trying to get mold. So I placed it right there, but I would love to get a dehumidifier for my bedroom. But yet again, I want to put plants in there, but then I, I don't because I have carpet. You can have, I used to girl. I mean, this is a plant room, there's carpet here. But in my bedroom where I sleep, I think that's a push for me. Um, I would, let's not talk about it. Like. So I, I would like, I would really like to get it. I woke up y'all, cause it was so humid and it's cold in my apartment. And I just couldn't. But as you can see, my plants are loving it. Like my chest hurts. And she is blooming. She's putting out even more. Here's a, so a new set, new set of flowers, new set of flowers, new set of flowers. Look at these one, new leaf, new leaf, new leaf. Oh, sorry. Leaf, leaf, leaf. Leaf, <laughs> they're staring at me. Leaf, like a car's passing by. Leaf. Oh my goodness. Oh, leaf. <laughs> Y'all, she is happy. Uh. <laughs> I'm just happy because I've been wanting this plant for so long. Uh, oh, I was going to talk about y'all about this too. Oh, look, here's a new leaf too. I hate when that happens, but 
it is what it is it, they come out in the bottom and it makes me sad it's like girl you set yourself up for like failure same but <laughs> i i listen girl I, i'm really trying to get better not propagating my plants because like i think what people want now they want to see that you know your plants and the only way to show that a lot of the time is by showing how big your plants are of course you can buy them but if you wash them within a month or two months you can kind of tell right the plants going down how you're like okay then maybe he just bought it like bigger already so he didn't grow from as a baby but if the plant is still getting bigger over the months as you can usually tell like okay he actually did like he, he knows how to do it so i think i do know my plants i mean i've been doing houseplants for like five six years and um i do know some plants i think the big and it's not it's not like that crazy stuff to be honest like the biggest thing about the plants is that grow lights humidity and consistent watering and fertilizer that's literally it as well being on top of pests but hear me out the biggest thing about pests is i hate saying this but it's, it's you're gonna have it like once you start developing a plant collection and you like commit to that like well for me i always thought i can just er eradicate them but no i just control them that sounds bad i go clean my dishes no as in like i can control the population um i don't i would not be a hundred percent free from medibugs unless they get beneficial insects but not right now because i live in apartments i don't know about that but i can control the population uh <laughs> so whenever i see them I'm a giant to them. Um, that's all I do. Uh, I also have a spray bottle and I spray them and that does a pretty good job as well. And that's what it is a lot easier, but I'm gonna have my bugs regardless, right? It's, it's just the way it is. So, but what I try to do as was well like, I try to check my plants and make sure that's the only thing I will have. Because I know if I have more, I'm gonna go ahead and have a mental breakdown. If I have scales, phytomites, which is expected. I, I could have many bugs and literally everything which I've, I've had before. I just have to suck it up buttercup and deal with it. <laughs> That's the reality. Or worst case scenario, which is kind of controversial, but I believe it's just equally as important as where well, it goes back down to your mental health. Um, if you know you just cannot do it anymore, give it away if you can or just throw it away. It's not the end of the world and you come first. You're not gonna let that one plant get to you or affect all your other your all your other beautiful, strong, independent body plants. We're not gonna let that happen. So just get rid of the plants, give it away, or put it outside. Like what's the worst that's gonna happen, right? <laughs> so that that's what I'll do because I am not gonna like put my other plants, you know, you know, downhill with with that one little plant or a couple plants. Um, if I know I cannot mentally take care of it. Um, and that's okay. That's, that's, that's perfectly fine. If you really want the plant and you paid a lot of money for it. So what I'll do is I'll take a cutting, I'll like a small cutting and I'll clean it thoroughly and I'll spray neem oil as a preventative and quarantine it away from plants while I'm propagating it and giving its own little grow like its own little perfect environment, but away from everything else. So I still have that specimen, <laughs> my vocabulary, I will still have that specimen but i don't have that big plan like it's too much to look after and like you know take care of so from the pest but do what you can and that's what i'll do here's my strawberry begonia yeah this plant i killed so many times but i found can y'all see that she can try she said stiff wear yeah i'm saying so many jokes right now i don't even know if y'all like know the jokes that i'm talking about <laughs> like i can post the videos but i don't know if i get copyrighted or like yeah but <laughs> i hope you know what that's what that's from like stiff wear anyways so little babies and look she gave me this nice big chunky baby this girl's happy you can see i don't know if you guys can see all these new ones coming through and miss girl has been busy she has been so busy she said i'm open and i'm available <laughs> wow she looks so big. It was a little. I'm gonna show my boyfriend. No, hear me out. <laughs> Y'all gonna be like, David, why is yours better than his? Listen, girl, I did what I could. Okay, y'all know that I could not do too much. Like I was going through something, uh, but I made sure that his was still alive. Maybe not thriving, but it's still alive, and it is. And as a matter of fact, I don't see no strings coming out. I call them strings. That's probably not what it's called. This is his. 
and I just ended up repotting it. When I ended up repotting this one, she started doing that. So I'm guessing this one, after being repotted, it's gonna start doing that. Yeah, I'm so happy. Like, do you understand how I have killed this plant a thousand times? That's dramatic. Well, I am dramatic. <laughs> but I've killed this plant so many times and I almost given up on it. But I just keep seeing it and I'm just like, it's so pretty. It's just pink. And it's just so like, it's gorgeous. Um, so yeah. And it's a begonia. Like, hello, I kill begonias. Like, I was a killer of begonias. <laughs> and not anymore. So I took my throne back. <sighs> Sometimes I hit my own voice. But yeah, you guys, it's just awesome. And then I'm going to show you the twister cuttings that we did. Look at this. They look stiff. Again. Well, that, that's the opposite of the joke. But this looks really good. Like, the fact that they're, they're not, like, little flaming down, that means they're doing something. And that's really good. This is a Twister lipstick plant. I love, 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 love the flowers. And I'm going to have... Um, well, I have to... I, I can give one to my mommy. <laughs> I, and I think I might. I, I think she loved the flowers. And she was funny because, like, she saw the flowers in my Twister lipstick plant. And, I, and she was like, what is it called? And I was like, oh, it's called Lipstick Plant with Twister Lipstick Plant. Damn, how many times can I say that? And she she got up and she was like, can I use it as a lipstick? I was like, girl, you can try it, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if your lips will get like big or something. like, Because I don't know if it's poison. I don't even know. But it's a beautiful plant and I know how to keep it happy. And that's what's important. Yeah, so I'm just like question myself again. I'm okay. And it's okay. It's okay not to be okay. But at some point, at some point, you gotta come to realization. Oh my god, my Hoya Yeti is doing. That's not Hoya Yeti, idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> I can show you this too. So, this one, the plastic one, is doing a lot better than Terracotta. Shocker. <sighs> I just hate. I love Terracotta. But. It really does dry out the soil. Like, it's so exhausting. Like, oh my goodness. Like, can you not? But, like, this is my very good at string of hearts. That coffee got cold and that's nasty. It's not funny. I love iced coffee, but whenever my morning coffee that I want it to be hot gets cold, it's the biggest ick and the biggest turn off. But it's like, I love ice. I don't know. Isn't that so weird? <laughs> this is my very good string of hearts. Look at that. It looks kind of like nasty. You can kind of see some, I don't know if it's algae, um, some green stuff coming up, but this plant will grow and it's gonna suffocate those green stones turning like develop but it won't happen because this girl won't let it but this is so exciting there's a lot of sprouts and i did it by the butterfly method i'm oh, let me give you another close-up like shot how it looks you can see all those new shoots coming out she is so happy but let me show you the terracotta one this one is going through it girl i mean it's still really really good actually one has developed a nice vine this is the other one but it dries out so fast and it's starting to piss me off we're not, that's aggressive. It's not, it's not really pissing me off. It's just getting a little bit like, otra vez, you know, like, <laughs> if you know what that means, then you know. But it looks so good. My mom's like sleeping. It looks so good. So I'm not, I'm not really stressed out too much. Also, I just put a complaint, not a complaint. I put a maintenance report for Quest uh, about the dryer thingy. I hope they can do it because like my dryer, like I said, I have to put it on like high heat for it to dry my clothing. And then we have to do it like for three rounds on the dryer, which is pretty crazy. So I hope they can come over and fix that. What else can I show you? I mean, there's still, well, I can show you. This is my epiparium. My epiparium, Mia, did you left already? <laughs> I was over there because I didn't want him to see me. It's the maintenance guy. He's like his little go-kart. Is that what it's called? Little go, yeah, right. Anyways, look, she's putting out a new, oh my gatos. Is that Maribel because I was squishing right now? No. Oh my goodness. Oh, God, that's my bad. Look, look at that. Look over here, too. <gasps> How exciting. Other ones are still, I don't know what they're, I don't know what they're doing, to be honest. They got, they got to figure it out. But I have some stuff developing, and I have like, I have one, two, three. I show it to you, and then I take it away. Because <laughs> I'm trying to see it, too. Uh, I have three that have fully, that are starting to, um, one, two. The leg is broke that leaf? No. And then three. I have three that are starting to develop and I have three other ones this one that one and that one that uh i don't know they, 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 they better figure it out yeah and then i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna set up it all she just is starting to open its another new leaf 
So she's kind of happy and I see what it's, it will push it up, but it wasn't as before. So this is the leaf. Um, she's still taking her sweet time to mature to develop the variegation. Can y'all see that? You guys can kind of see the stripes a little bit. That's so sad. I gotta like really, really show you, but I'm so proud of you. Don't take it personal. It's just, you've been doing, I guess. What is, where's the second? Is on my iPad? Why am I hearing that? Anyways. And then here's the, a new leaf coming. Ah! Y'all see that chunk of variegation? Yeah, I'm just like, be patient, David. I'll give you what you want. And then here's a new shoot coming in, a new leaf. So, I'm happy that she's happy. Well, I feel like he, he's giving me more he vibes. Plants don't have a ident identity, whatever you call it. Then I he or she, but they're my plants. And I can do as I want. As you can do what you want with yours. And for me, it's fun to call him she. And I'm going to call this one a he. Because it's my plant. And I do what I want with it. <laughs> it's a little schedule. So, that's what's been going on. Also, my skin up is a like, oh, very good skin is just always, like, giving what she's supposed to give. I'm so happy for her. Here's the orchid, by the way. Yeah, I need to water her again. This one's drying out too fast. People tell me this is not enough um, air coming through, but she's drying out fast. So, I think it's enough. It's because it's a very chunky mix, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and open the blinds. one and then we're gonna open this one if i can Oy. also last night i dropped one of my airplanes i have to pick it up it's like in the bottom <laughs> there you go there you go mm. i like the piece of this you know bounce back i don't know if you remember but she was so like drippy and now she is beautiful what is that look at the birds this is such a pretty okay coast of farm like y'all are you hear the birdie? I like how textured it's like cooked spinach. <sighs> Love this plant. Why are you kind of grainy, girl? What's going on with you? I did shine it. I don't know if it did anything. I mean, it looks almost the same as the piece of like. I think piece of leaves have a natural shine on them, but. Beautiful. And then here's my variegated cast iron. That's right, girl. I don't know if someone got the other ones. There was one left. But look at that. I googled how to care for it. And I, I <laughs> they like to dry out. So, like, basically, like, they like to be, like, snake plants. They can also handle low light. And I have it sitting in water, so I might need to dump that out. I'm pretty sure I picked up exactly what it wanted. And it doesn't need... What are you? So some of these little sphagnum mosses, and I think it's a sphagnum moss because I had a sphagnum moss container right there for the, for the mosetta rock cuttings, and I picked it up. Yeah, sphagnum moss. You okay, Valentino? The fiddle leaf. Look at that. New leaves developing. Also, you can see the little, like, brown spots. That's because I overwatered it a little bit. Too much than what it can take in, and it makes those explode. But eso se regla. And yeah, and here's the monstera. This is how she looks. She's still here with us. Hopefully she can pull through. She has a really, really good grow light, so I'm not stressing out too much about it. And it's a mess. I was taking out all the decor for the Easter. You can kind of see Easter every now and then, even over there. My little bunnies. Oh, they're so cute. And then here is the table. Oh, you can see some Easter over here too. Look at that. The little eggs. I, think, I don't know what to put in here, so I just put the eggs because that was kind of cute. Yeah, this Charlie is making me oh, my hands clean because I don't want to spread nothing here. Look at this new leaf. This one's doing so good. I moved it away where it was getting some good light. I'm kind of scared a little bit, so I'm hoping she'll be happy over here. I think she will. These are south facing windows. They still get a little bit direct sunlight, but once spring kicks in and then we enter like in the late spring, we're not going to get direct sunlight. So, I will leave it over here. I mean, there's still some, this is a really good spot, but this one has um, still the millibug problem. It's still clean. She's fine, but I'm not gonna risk putting one of my favorite plants next to it. And it's sad, but I'm still giving, I'm still gonna give it a good grow light because one looks pretty good over here, like a little light, nice 
corner of a good light source and these are salted grow lights um i did not pay for them girl they were sent to me so like the price is crazy okay so let's not talk about it but oh they work and they're good and they're pretty so um i'm not gonna put one of my favorite plants over here but i do want this rancina to get good light because i want it to bounce back she's been through a lot and she is still alive and i'm very surprised she has still kept a lot of beautiful foliage even though some of it is a bit damaged i got a spray the burning alcohol um she's still here with us i do have my zz's because i do not mind i mean Z millibugs don't usually mess with my zz's <laughs> they don't like them they for some reason like my snake plants and this one the drancina but they don't like my zz's i think it's just too exposed for them they like crevices to hide in and they like thick juicy leaves to suck on i'm gonna get demonetized um i will go ahead and rinse these plants though i feel like there's a lot of valentino hairs in here and these do for some reason collect a lot of dust like a lot of dust my zz's and then we have this Trescantia, which is one of my faves, but I think I want to propagate it, but then I don't. Like I said, I was I was basically telling her that I need to calm down on propagating my plants all the time. I need to let them grow and show how beautiful they're like my, my massive domino piece lily. Oh, that's pretty. Like, I can't propagate this one, so it's just been growing and growing and growing. And look how big she's been getting. I can't actually split it. You kind of you split it, that's how you get uh, a piece of it, but I think it's more impressive when it's big. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And then my Syngonium, this is new. I already got it big, so this is not on me. But then my Plantain Miss Piece Lily, and then here is the Monstera Esqueleto putting out a new leaf. And then she just gave us this one. I'm pretty sure it showed you already, but look at that. Oh my God, this is crazy. My Twister, she's still blooming. This Alocasia, the way it always has water droplets, but she cute. So I'm gonna go, ooh, hello. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the apartment, watch some plenty videos, but whenever I do plant chores, I'll go ahead and pick up the phone and do it with y'all. But I gotta do a lot of cleaning right now because the apartment's a little bit of a mess and I gotta go to Walmart and buy some stuff. I wanna buy a pine soap bottle. I have pine soap, but I don't have the OG pine soap. I want the OG pine soap. I'm not being picky. So I'll finish the one that I have, the lemon one. I hate it. I mean, it smells good, but not as good as the original. <laughs> okay, so I kind of messed up a while back and I placed some cuttings that I wanted to root and they have done so pretty good, but I forgot to do the holes. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. I have two of them actually. So <laughs> just gonna go and plop it out. It's dry, so it shouldn't be diff Oh my goodness, look at that. You see those nice roots. Awesome. Now we're gonna go ahead and start making some holes in here. Um, ah. I'll do it over here. Okay. That was almost perfect. So I did, did the last one. Ah. Okay. They're really small holes, so this is like perfectly fine. Now I'm gonna get the little cake <laughs> and pop it back in here. My apologies. My bad. That's it. I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. I got this from Dollar Tree, by the way, so they're perfect to be as cash pods. Okay. <laughs> it 
is a workout. Now let me get the kick back. See those roots. And it's just a good watering. And this should be perfect. I kind of like how I didn't fill it up all the way to the top. I saved soil as well, like it'll be perfectly fine. The weather is so nice. I mean, it's gonna be like this for a hot minute. 93 and it's always pretty good humidity so it's that time where i can just do this put some soil and get some cuttings and plop them in and leave them outside and they will go ahead and propagate but yay and i want these to be hanging in the balcony so i'm just gonna go ahead and water them and just clean up my mess so i decided to place my jacqueline outside because i don't know it's a lot more humid outside now and more warmer than inside and I might appreciate it. Also, they all, these all have sauces. So it's not dripping water to the neighbors. I also added a little bit of fertilizer on the water to, you know, keep them happy. It is hot outside. It is hot. Now, oh my God, I love the top of the kitchen. I'll show you in a bit. We're gonna go. I said I was gonna do the manjula last night, but stupid bottle. I decided to do other stuff, as y'all saw. We gotta do some holes on this. By the way, again, these planters, I put all of my Easter decor, but I still have Valentine's sign. I'll take it down in a bit. We're gonna go take off this sticker. I love these planters so much. They're from Dollar Tree. Really, really good. It's one twenty-five each. You cannot beat that price. So they're nice and big. I like to use them for cash pots. And like, I know you guys watch my videos. Plus shopping at Lowe's. The cost of um hanging baskets fit perfectly here as a cash pot, and you can put like a macrame or just put the plant like that. Highly recommend these so much. I love these a lot. And I just got a screwdriver and I put the edge like that. Can y'all see that? And usually, not so much force because I notice it cracks, but just enough that it'll like go down and open. It's kind of scary though. <laughs> I know there's a lot of ways. Okay. That did absolutely. Every time I do that, it cracks. It's okay. Ah! Okay, I already got this. Good thing I got a high pain tolerance. I'm gonna do the other one. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Stop looking at one more. Stop looking at me with those eyes. Wish I can disappear. And we is done. Now, yeah, that's basically it for this. Okay. It's a little late night place shopping. We're at the Home Depot. It's been a hot minute since I've gone to the Home Depot. Beautiful Joncinas, Yucas. Look at these different bakias. Honestly, not a bad location. I have some pretty good stuff. Wow. That one's even blooming right over there. Beautiful. So many, like, wow. This location kind of stepped it up. It used to be so bad. <laughs> they got some good stuff. Here's some Bird of Paradise. These are for $40. And they have two of them. It's always fun and good to check for any sports because for some reason a lot of these home depots end up having some variegated or like sports variegated bird of paradise and money trees and monstera deliciosas so it's always fun to like check it out here's some tiny plants 
some bird's nest ferns. <laughs> Fifteen ninety eight. You got some aglonemas. These are so good. They're for the same price. Oh, shit. I'm trying to like look at the phone instead of like seeing outside so I can. Oh my god! I can make sure that I'm filming a good video. We try to scan to I feeling forty four. Nineteen ninety eight. Super, super cute. You know what I just noticed? We did not, well, me, potted up the mandula cuttings. I ended up, we are potting a lot of other things, like the global green potos, like making those holes in the bottom so I can go ahead, oh, it's just pretty. So I can go ahead and water it so it can get, you know, root rot. We did that. <gasps> Look, it's Tramanti. This one is beautiful. Love, love, love these planters. Mm. Let's see. 1998. Here's some soft kitty or feather lip calathea. Hmm, that's interesting. Usually it's like uh, maroon in the back of the leaves. Maybe this one is a different variety or it's probably immature. Hey, they got some plants over here. Why are they hiding it? Here's some purple passion plants. $5.98, still a little bit thirsty. And then let's go back in the houseplant section. I saw these massive Brazils, which look really, really good. Ooh, right as a Calathea. Such a beautiful plant, look at that. Look at these rubber trees. 1998 very round i love that they have this one it's like more like orangey saturated ficus elastica and then they have the other one it's like more cream white look at that. i love how they offer both varieties ah. well three varieties like in the same branch elastica so pretty Girl, they're the same name. What the hell? One is called a Tiniki. I think this one's a Tiniki. There's so many names, but these are all rubber trees. This one, this beautiful green one, and then this one. They're all in the same family. You got some Monstetas. Massive baskets of Scandapsis. Wow, look at this mass. Ooh. Florida green. Pretty shiny leaves. I love how red the stem is. Look at this massive Caladia overfolia. $19.98. That's a good deal. Beautiful. I love the really, really bright leaves. They have this one too. It's a condo, right? Rahul condo. $30. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Pretty good selection. <gasps> I see a pinch of Calathea. They got these pretty Brazils, y'all. Look at this. Oh my lord. Look at that pretty variegation. That is gorge. These are $20.98. I don't see a price, but I'm pretty sure it's $20.98. Oh, if I can put it back. There you go. Look, I want to show you the pinch of Calathea. It's just so pretty. So pretty i just hate how it's in water because i don't want it. i mean it's pretty cool but i want it in soil <laughs> i mean maybe they do better in water like i think some people like to put their alocasias in ponds like in um gravel right it's basically ponds and i've heard like really really good success with that and i mean these cuttings look amazing so i'm pretty sure they're happy in their little what bowl <laughs> Okay, they got some peas, Lily's. It's just such a pretty display of houseplants. These are $15.98. They have little tiny flowers. And peas, Lily's bloom all the time. Look at these massive baskets of Scandapsis. And they're 
$20.98. Wow, look at these little fiddles. They're just so adorable. Little tiny fiddles. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Little babies. They got some ZZs. Oh wow. A network Calathium. And these look so good. And these are cheap too. $14.98. Not even close to stop because I was literally. I was not trying to buy a plant. I was just trying to do some window shopping and get my free plant therapy. <laughs> This is such a good deal and it's so full and lush. I'm so tempted. There's another one, so there's only two. From what I see, they got some aglonemas. Beautiful. They got some snake plants. Look at that. Look how like bold the yellow stripes are. They got some bird, bird of paradise. No, birds, nice ferns. I always get confused between both. I think 2024, they've been having some really good variety for really, really good prices. Like, look at this one, it's like lettuce, but it's a bird's nest fern, y'all. Don't get tripped out. And then here's another one, it has multiple. This looks really, really good. Look at the monsteras. Good Walmart, good Walmart, they're doing a good job. Anthurians, Birkins, this has two of them for $15.98. I usually say that they're going against Costa Farm, but it's literally grown by Costa Farm. So I don't understand. They got some Petunias. Every time I see empty gaps like this, I always feel like it's a Manjula. <laughs> Juanita, $7.98. Pretty. That's a begonia, but it's an outdoor begonia. Some waffle plants, beautiful Drancinas, Peperonia, Proton. Some ivies. See, these are two. It looks like this one's damaged, but it's not. These are two different varieties. This is Snow White Waffle Plant. Kind of pretty, right? Boy, it is pretty. And this is a new one. I'm not a big fan of it, but that's the name. Beijing. I think over time it will grow on me. As of right now, I just don't know. Look at this Brazil. It's like buried with this planter. Beautiful, beautiful. 598. Oh wow. I think it's called Pam Am. 798. Yeah. I would love to get this one and that network Calatio. But, girl, I mean, I can't, I, I can't. I will see these plants again, I'm pretty sure, hopefully. <gasps> they got an aluminum plant. They got an aluminum plant. This is so cute. 5.98, look at that. Sorry if I'm shaking too much. I see some more working potas. Look at this Brazil, y'all, this location. Uh, wow. Give me what it's supposed to get. These are kind of cute. Does anybody have a mature one of these? I would love to see it like... I'll just go on Instagram and search that. And see, I feel like it grows like a bush. And then, there's some other stuff here. They got some rubber trees for 27. Fiddles for the same price. This massive aglonema for the same price. That's pretty good. ZZ's, the Monsteras. Every time I go to the store, I always go straight to the Monsteras Deliciosas. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at this flower. I feel like I just like, what do you call it, exposed it? The way I just picked it up, look at that. Isn't that so fun? No sports, but yet again, I'm blind. I can, I can never find the sport. The one that I have, I have two of them. The cast iron one and that Monstera. But the ones that found it was my boyfriend. It literally passed me. <laughs> it's like they're not meant for me. And you know what, that's okay because I got my boyfriend. And I like to see it like he's like a, what do you call it? 
a variegated a sport finder i don't know is this a sensation no it's not right because sensation pistolies are usually like really really big massive leaves how much is it oh shoot 70 dollars what oh, damn who loves me that much <laughs> So pretty. Look at all of these marble print photos. Cute little pepperonia. I'm pretty sure it's called jelly. That's the wrong tag. <laughs> this is an aluminum. But look at these marble coins. $5.98. Fun. So many really really good house plants. I got a Hoya Wayeti. She kind of looks kind of messed up. Or maybe she's so stressed. Is that how they're supposed to look whenever they get stressed out? Interesting. Ugh, I hate how they're hanging. It's like in the back, like just like that. These are pretty super red Fetonias in their plants. Ruby red Fetonia for seven. 98 Versace Flora. If I can pick it up, that'll be awesome. Mm, Luciana, 598. That's really pretty. They got some Singonians. Oh, that's why it's like not it's in its original nursery. Oh wow. Exotica Illusion or had plant. I'm pretty sure it's seven and yeah, that's usually the the price. Oh my god, I'm like locked up. That's usually the price for those. And I want to show you two more things. They have this insane stubborn fern and this crazy golden portos. This is wild. <laughs> now someone gonna yell at me be like David. That is not a more that's that's not a good um uh, Golden Porto, that's a Hawaiian. I think it's the same thing. I just think that as long as it has a lot of light and it's happy, it will give you those massive leaves. But, I mean, there is a lot of other stuff, but that's basically, I mean, let me see if I can find a variegated bear paw. Was it? The way I just pressed the brakes on myself. Look at this. This is such a pretty plant. Fire, rainbow. Wow. Wow. And these are for $5.98. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see no um, variegated bear paws. I see some shrimp of dolphins. <laughs> these are so cute. Wait. I'm dumb. String of bananas. Because in the other location, we saw some string of dolphins. From a distance, it looked like a string of dolphins. My bad. But yeah, that's basically it, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed.